We have just packed our whole life into one storage box. And now we're off to Mexico. In this video, we'll share our journey in getting from Australia to Mexico, and we'll also show you our first couple of days in Mexico City. So overall the trip from Australia to Mexico City was quite a smooth travel experience, especially compared to what we have experienced in the past. Uh, naturally the airports were very quiet with travel from Australia only just opening back up. In saying that, we did make sure we were well prepared for immigration and had all of the documentation we needed just so we wouldn't run into any trouble. Uh, surprisingly, Mexico itself had very little in the way of entry requirements. Uh, however, as we were transiting through the, the United States, so San Francisco specifically, uh, we did need proof of vaccination and a negative PCR test. Uh, so just keep this in mind when you are planning your trip. Uh, we have to say that as we've been hoping to make this trip happen for close to two years by this point, it really didn't feel real or like it was actually happening until we arrived in Mexico. So we rented this Airbnb in an area called La Condesa for around 52 US dollars per night. Uh, we thought this was quite a good price for the size of the apartment and the location. La Condesa is one of the more well-known and trendy areas of the city with plenty of cafes, restaurants and bars. This area of the city is very walkable, has plenty of greenery and parks and has felt very safe overall. Mexico City is seriously huge, with the city itself having around 9 million people and the metro area closer to 22 million. We've discovered that what looks walkable on the map may actually in fact take an hour or so. We're planning to stay in a few different neighborhoods uh, just to get a good feel for the city with Roma Norte and Polanco to follow. Mexico City has some awesome street food. We haven't actually had a chance to try it yet, but we have a taco bicycle tour booked that'll take us to all the best street food places. So we're keen for that and we'll be including this in our next video. Speaking of bicycles, you can hire these red bicycles that are scattered throughout the city and they're very cheap, so we definitely want to do this too. We didn't realize this until we got here, but you do have to tip in Mexico. 10 to 15% is the usual amount, so just be aware.
first night, we had some very delicious tacos at this place called Los Creadores del Taco al Pastor. It seemed quite popular and the service was great too. As you can see, the city is massive and we've only just scratched the surface. If you've enjoyed our first video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos from Mexico.